Today's episode of Book Break comes to you from the beautiful literary city of Bath, where we are celebrating all things Jane Austen. In Northanger Abbey, Catherine Morland says, Oh, who can ever be tired of Bath? And I can't wait to see everything this city has to offer. Let's go! Let's start in the pump room, as that was where Catherine Morland was first introduced to Bath Society and where she came rushing back in the hopes of bumping into Mr Tilton. It's the centre of so much of the action in Northanger Abbey that I can practically see Jane Austen parading up and down the road, observing people for inspiration for her cast of colourful characters. Right next door to the pump room are the Roman baths, which gave this city its name. While Jane Austen never actually wrote about the baths in any of her novels, it's possible that she might have taken a dip here, because the now closed baths were open to the public in Jane Austen's time. It's hard enough to imagine people being here two centuries ago, but it is unbelievable to imagine the Romans being here almost two millennia ago. But back to Jane Austen, we next went on a mission to track down all the places she lived in Bath. You'd think the whole city would be shouting it from the rooftops, but actually, of all the places around the city that Jane Austen lived, this is the only one that has a plaque showing off that she lived here. Apparently, this area was the red light district of Jane Austen's day, so it's a little bit awkward that that's where she, her mother and her sister, ended up living for their final stay in Bath. In Jane's letters to Cassandra, she talks about walking around the Royal Crescent to get some fresh air, and it's not hard to see why she chose these views. Now this is Great Pulteney Street, which back in Jane Austen's day was just called Pulteney Street and you may recognise as the street where Catherine Morland stayed in Northanger Abbey. We are now here on Milsom Street, which in Jane Austen's time was the most fashionable shopping destination and fans of Persuasion will recognise it because it's where Anne saw Captain Wentworth again in Bath for the first time. And Union Street is even more exciting because this is where Anne Elliot bumps into Captain Wentworth right at the novel's end, just in time for them to declare their love to each other. Sally Lunn's buns are so famous that even Jane Austen wrote to her sister about them. That's how good they're supposed to be. And I really wanted to try one, but I left my purse behind. And of course, I've been saving the best or last, the Jane Austen Centre, where you can learn all about Jane Austen's life and her family, and even try on some of the clothes. So the sun is setting on my time in Bath, and I'm really starting to see what Catherine Morland meant who could ever be tired of Bath? I have read these books so many times by now, but they have still just been given a whole new lease of life by actually exploring the city that so inspired Jane Austen to write them. No better way to end the evening now than to snuggle down with the ITV adaptation of Northanger Abbey. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button for new videos every week. See you next time!